best thing about having a brother with AS is you get to go through theme park queues really quickly. He always kisses and hugs me. I always push Holly around and Holly really likes it and likes to go as fast as I can push her. It's definitely better having an AS sibling than a non-AS sibling because if I annoy them they can't shout at me and can't go tell on mum. You don't get much attention. It's just Ella this, Ella that, not really me. Sometimes felt very jealous. I didn't understand why he could pull my hair and then if I hit him I would get told off. Well, I've got this best friend who's fine with him, but my other friends just run away. It makes me feel sad. Some of the friends that come round a bit, they like they think it's a bit weird. One didn't really like the noises he made. I've got bullied and then people have actually called my sister names. But I've got one pet friend in particular who absolutely adores Darcy. They don't really know what to do at the start, but then they keep on coming. They always say, your brother's really cute, your brother's really cute. I could see why it might be scary, or people would think, oh, I don't want to go there again. And my friends might give cuddles to with him, and um, they help him as well. I used to go to like quite a lot of like sibling groups um, run by like the council or the university, just and we would go on like trips away. For me, I think that did really help being able to be in that sort of social environment. It's good to talk about maybe being jealous or angry or annoyed to people who understand and have gone through similar things. Having a sister of Angelman syndrome has made me more open-minded. When I'm older, my mum and dad get too old to look after him. I might have to uh, look after him with my sister and I think I can cope because he's actually been with me for my whole life because he's older than me. I don't think siblings should have that responsibility forced upon them and I think that's unfair for that to happen. I think it's really important in the past something that doesn't happen enough is an open discussion between parents and children. You don't want to get in the way but then you don't want to feel like you're not helping. He has to have two carers and it's really crowded. And when we go into town, you just everyone just looks at you. But we're used to it. They were just looking because it was something different. But at the time, I remember being quite self-conscious about it. You try all your best to fit in, but then if you're out in public with your AS individual, then it can actually be, you can stick out like a sore thumb at times. I don't really feel like it's embarrassing. I think it's kind of cool. I wouldn't ever think, oh, I wish he didn't have AS. Like, I love the fact that he does, and that's who he is, like that person. I think I'm very fortunate to have Eloise in my life because my happiness is measured by the people around me, and I have a lot more appreciation for things in life that I wouldn't otherwise have had. It's made me look at the world differently. It's made me appreciate smaller things. It's made me think nothing matters because nothing matters to Harvey, so why should anything matter to me? Having a brother like Jake would be the best. <laughs> I really love Holly because um, we just do. Uh, 